provinces push for justice reform. I think we're going to have a unified front when we go to the federal government. BC's demand for a better way to handle chronic offenders and why change won't be easy. New details about this controversial arrest caught on camera. We were not going to let that man get back in the vehicle. What Global News has learned about the man taken into custody while his child watched. And diners beware. It's a dollar tree out of our pocket, you know what I'm saying? The new service charge one restaurant is passing on to customers. You're watching Global BC. This is Global News Hour. Good evening and thanks for joining us. Public safety has been front and center in recent months with politicians at all levels feeling the pressure to do something. As Richard Zussman reports tonight, two key... B I'm Claudia Van Emmerich in Kelowna. What local health experts are advising ahead of this year's flu season. I'm Megan Turcato. Tonight, three familiar faces on the North Okanagan political scene are vying for the mayor's chair in Vernon. I'm Jaden Wozni in Coldstream, where residents will not only be voting in the civic election, they'll also be voting on a new $8.5 million project. You're watching Global Okanagan. This is Global News at 5. Oh, good evening. I'm Jamie Tawil. Thanks for joining us tonight with flu season now officially upon us. Interior Health is launching its annual flu shot campaign. It's the night Oilers fans have been waiting for for months. You're looking at the Ice District as the countdown is on to the team's home opener. We'll have live coverage from Rogers Place just ahead. Daniel Smith on damage control. This is, is not an apology. The backlash over her comments and clarification about the unvaccinated facing discrimination. Plus, used behind schedule. The permits aren't getting done. They're getting delayed. What the city says it will take to finally get the Blatchford community built. And cool as ice. I'm very fortunate to have great ice and a great crew that, that takes great care of it. On opening night, meet the team behind one of the best NHL surfaces in the league. Mostly sunny this afternoon with that daytime high just slightly above the seasonal average, but we do have an upper ridge in the jet stream coming our way, which should put our temperatures much warmer for the next few days. Closer look at your seven day forecast in just a few minutes. You're watching Global Edmonton. This is Global News Hour at 6. Good evening. Alberta's new premier is spending her first full day in office addressing comments that have prompted criticism nationwide. Danielle Smith called the unvaccinated the most discriminated against group she has seen in her lifetime. Tonight, the flames are ready for puck drop. It should be exciting, and you know, I think all the guys here are excited to, excited to get going. What fans can expect as the quest for the cup begins. And advice if you want to avoid a traffic headache near the dome. Plus, concern over firefighter funding. It was a shock for us to start hearing some of these um, numbers that are coming out. Why the union says the money that may be allocated won't address response times. And roaming around the neighborhood. He was in my backyard, not last night, but the night before. I tipped open over the compost bin. Why a poor crop and warm weather means more bear sightings in our province. Good evening. We begin with breaking news tonight. Police have shut down a portion of 19th Street Northeast after two separate crashes within blocks of each other. Police say a five-year-old boy was struck just before four this afternoon near Valley View Road. EMS says the boy was taken to Alberta Children's. The sugar's a disappointment, but uh, tons seem to be there. It's proven to be another challenging year for Alberta sugar beet growers. For the third straight season, producers are not as happy about the harvest as they could be. Coming up, a closer look at why. You're watching Global News at 5, and we debut a brand new look today. A guilty decision in a careless driving case. Definitely bittersweet. It was an outcome that we've been wanting to hear. Will it bring closure to the family of a young Lethbridge boy who died after he was struck by a vehicle in a crosswalk? Plus, Alberta's new premier facing criticism for comments made during her first day on the job. 
they have been the most discriminated against group that I've ever witnessed in my lifetime. Danielle Smith tries to set the record straight on her remarks about the unvaccinated. It was a beautiful day today and it will be even more so tomorrow. Lots of beautiful sunshine, light winds, and we're back in the 20s. You're watching Global Lethbridge. This is Global News at 5. Good afternoon. A grieving family says they now have a path forward. It comes after a Lethbridge judge delivered his decision today in a careless driving case. Tonight, as a couple of big names in the province's healthcare industry roll up their sleeves for a flu shot, experts are worried an outbreak of influenza is already headed our way. Plus, the theme is fire won't wait, plan your escape. Local kids learn the importance of fire safety. And describing it as an inherent right, one area of First Nation moves closer to self-government. You're watching Global Regina. This is Global News at 6. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Flu season is nearly upon us and flu shot clinics are now opening up around the province. One pharmacist is urging people. Tonight, we get a preview of Saskatoon's new downtown library and learn why modern libraries are about more than just books. As flu shot clinics open up around the province, one expert warns why you shouldn't wait. Also tonight, people with disabilities get a helping hand in finding the perfect job. You're watching Global Saskatoon. This is Global News at 6. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Saskatoon residents are getting a sneak peek at the new downtown library as the public library unveils its final design. Winnipeg's homelessness crisis, a look at the problem and potential solutions as we elect a new mayor and council. Pothole protection, CAA offering up new top-up tire protection after claims surge, but is the coverage worth it? Also tonight, a tradition since 2015. We take you down to our annual Knickers and Kickers event, collecting new socks and underwear for Silo Mission. This is Global News Winnipeg. Global News at 6 starts now. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. It's an ongoing issue in our city made worse by the pandemic. Many Winnipeggers don't have a safe place to call home. Words cannot describe our grief. Two officers with South Simcoe police killed in the line of duty. We're learning new details tonight about the officers who lost their lives and how this shocking double homicide happened. We're live at the scene of the crime with the latest straight ahead. Also, the enormous sense of grief caused by this terrible tragedy from the shock felt in the town of Innisfil where it happened to the incredible display of solidarity from colleagues escorting the fallen officers on a final journey. Global News starts right now. You're watching Global Toronto. This is Global News at 530. Thank you for joining us. I'm Alan Carter. For the fourth time in four weeks, the province has been rocked by news of officers killed in the line of duty. Tonight, the parents of a little girl struck by a vehicle outside the Norwood Fair speak to Global News and thank the community for its support. Two police officers are shot and killed in the line of duty in Innisville. And fall finale, more than 1,500 students lace up for the final cross-country meet of the season. From Global Peterborough, this is Chex News at 6. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carrie Ferguson. And I'm Jay Makinson. We're learning more about a young Peterborough girl who was struck... The city of Kingston taking steps to curb nuisance parties in the university district starting this weekend. COVID cases in local hospitals rise to levels not seen since January. And police report auto thefts are rising in Kingston. 
from Global Kingston. This is CKWS News at 6. Good evening. Homecoming at Queens is still two weeks away, but the city's nuisance party bylaw is going into effect this weekend. Making a case for better transit service in the West Island. It has to be, uh, again, frequency and, and reliability. Public consultations get underway. Survey says... Some parties fare well under the system, especially the CQ, and other parties really struggle. How Quebecers feel about electoral reform. Cool factor. It's a tiny uh, neighborhood in the city, but there's so much to it. A gem right in our own backyard. You're watching Global Montreal. This is Global News. Good evening, thank you for joining us. I'm Alia Adam. Public hearings to improve mass transit in the West Island begins tonight. It's a chance for residents and elected officials to have their say on what needs to change. You're watching Global New Brunswick. This is Global News at 6. I'm disappointed in, in the uh, many of the comments because it, you know, they're, they're, they're hurtful and it, it does, it's not helpful. Political drama. A high-profile cabinet minister resigns and will soon be kicked out of the Progressive Conservative Caucus. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. Dominic Cardi has resigned as Minister of Education and Early Childhood Development. He announced he was quitting in a tweet this morning after sending a scathing resignation letter to Premier Higgs. You're watching Global Halifax. This is Global News at 6. I just... I, I had no idea it was coming. Leaving the Speaker's chair. After a week of political drama, Speaker Keith Bain announces he's stepping down amid allegations he was forced to quit by the Premier. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. The Speaker of the Nova Scotia Legislature says he doesn't want to leave his post, but come April 1st, Keith Bain is stepping down. The government announcing today it has accepted his resignation.